The advanced investment philosophy is very much around, you know, we need to have high conviction in our positions that we put on. We need to have a high degree of liquidity in relation to making sure that we've got the flexibility to be able to move things around. We need transparency and just a high degree of risk management. Our approach to investing is very much around, look, we need to have the flexibility to do what we need to do. We are high conviction, so we're going to make the calls that we need to make. We're making those calls for a very specific reason. The way that we make our decisions is knowing who our underlying clients are, knowing who we're managing money for, and then taking the appropriate risks to actually generate a return which is going to meet their objective. Our clients are typically mums and dads. We're managing superannuation money for them. Now that is their long-term savings plan. So I do have that moral obligation and at the end of the day I'm going to do exactly the right thing for them. You need to be dynamic in your asset allocation. You need to be able to move money out of some of the asset classes that you don't want to be in or you don't think is going to pay off in the short term and actually put it where it actually is going to work for you. To have a breadth of asset classes to be able to invest in is one of the most important things but you also need to use that breadth. You need to be able to be dynamic in the way that you're moving money around. We need to be cognizant about what is going on around the rest of the world and to be honest with you, we spend most of our time trying to assess what the top-down sort of positioning needs to be. So what is happening in geopolitics, you know, what's happening in the Middle East, things like that. So what's happening with US oil consumption, are they going to be self-sufficient? So those are the really sort of big thematic sort of ideas that are playing out that we need to think about right here, right now, because it's going to affect the way the markets behave in three years' time. That's the way that we try to think about it, and particularly managing risk is about knowing what is a short-term payoff for what could be a very sort of long-term risk that you need to sort of play off against. Confidence is down. You know, I think that there was a lot that people, in terms of taking an understanding and, and actually sort of throwing back to the investment industry, did you see these events happening? Did you see them coming? You know, and to be honest with you, I think that there was a lot that the investment industry in itself got pigeonholed. Um, and there wasn't enough sort of free thinking thought outside of the box. We have a moral obligation to look after our clients' money. I think that within advance, we're doing a great job of that. And you know, definitely our clients know where we're coming from. We do manage risk and we do tell them that this is exactly what we're going to do. So we don't want to relive the events that the industry went through in the past. To be named Fund Manager of the Year again is, look, it's a great recognition. And I couldn't be happier or more delighted in terms of the way that the team has performed. These are really, really challenging times and the team itself um, has really pulled up to meet that particular challenge. To be honest with you, my true love is landscape gardening. It's not too dissimilar to investment management because at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is you set a plan, you basically then build the foundations and it's all about the building, and then you just put the plants in and the plants grow over time.